Well, if you want to generate a picture using an open source and local AI model on your computer, right now, the most popular option is by using a tool called ConfiUI. Now, just because this tool is popular does not mean that it is easy to use. In fact, I would say it is the opposite. This tool is using a node-based workflow and that's why the interface look like this. It is not exactly intuitive. There are so many parameters and settings to worry about and you need some technical knowledge in order to be able to install this tool on your computer. Now, how about other tools like uh, Stable Diffusion Web UI and also Focus? Well, they are quite similar. They're a bit easier than Combi UI in my opinion, but the installation process is not quite straightforward and you need some technical knowledge in order to install these programs on your computer. However, there is actually one tool that lets you generate an image in the same way you generate an image on Gemini or ChatGPT. So this program allows you to install or run models like Stable Diffusion and Flux directly on your computer. So it's going to be privacy friendly, it is going to be offline, and you can still uh, change various settings for the picture. And the name of the program is Amuse AI. So this AI app is actually being made uh, by in collaboration with AMD. And I think this is actually great news for AMD users because if you're using AMD GPU, then this tool is going to work really well. In fact, it's going to be way, way faster compared to uh, a computer that is using the NVIDIA graphic card. So this tool is available for free and don't worry, even if you're not using an AMD uh, GPU, you can still use this tool. In fact, I'm using NVIDIA graphic card and I can still run this program totally fine, although a bit slower. So. Uh, it is available for free and I don't understand why this tool is not, not very popular even though it is actually a lot easier to install, much easier to use than Comfy UI or uh, Automatic 11.11. So I would say this is my recommendation for anyone who wants to generate a picture using an open source and local AI model. Now just navigate to amuseai.com and then you can click this button and, and install the program normally. And after that, you can open the program. So basically it looks something like this. It is very simple actually. And just write the message and then you can generate an image. Of course, there are other settings like there are uh, some options to change the aspect ratio, the number of images, the uh, level of quality, etc. Now, basically, uh, after you have installed the program, you can open it. And here for a demonstration, let's say I want to generate a picture of a woman using a laptop near a volcano. Okay, that's going to be my prompt. And let's select image and the number of uh, image is just one. Now you can actually generate up to eight or 10 images, but I think for the initial try, the initial image creation, just use one uh, just to make sure that your computer is able to handle that. And then you can select the aspect ratio. And here is one setting that I overlooked. So I do recommend to use the fast mode. So this actually will affect what model that is going to be used by the AI program. So if you select balance, that it, then it might be using a different model. If you select quality, then it will also use a different model. So for me, given that my computer is very slow, I will go with the fast mode just to be sure because you don't want to select quality or balance and then suddenly the program crashes because it is not able to contain the model within your hardware. So again, as a good measure, just uh, select the fast performance mode. Now here, if you have an AMD graphic card that support XDNA, then you can enable this, but I'm not using an AMD GPU. That's why I cannot use this feature. But if you have one, then feel free to enable that. Now after that, you can click this button. And if you're doing this for the first time, then it will give you a message that you have to download a model. Just uh, click accept license or agreement, something like that, and then click download and the model will be downloaded directly. You don't have to do anything. There's no, no need to worry about installation process. It just download the model and run it directly via this software. So it is created a picture and it should appear right now. Yeah, that's the image. 
And yeah, it is decent, although I'm using a model that is very, very small. It's only 3.8 gigabytes due to my hardware limitation. But I would say the image is quite decent. And of course, if you want to save it to your computer, you can click this button and that's about it. So if you want to create images again, just change the prompt and then you can specify aspect ratio, the number of images, and then click this button again. Now, actually, this L2 has other features like there is air filters design where you can convert a sketch into a picture there is also the expert mode if you want to change or fine tune certain settings then this tool can do that although that would be a topic for another time right now what you need to know is this is in my opinion is the best and the easiest AI tool to run an open source AI model on your computer without the hassle of technicalities and installation process. So that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.